Hello everyone and welcome back to day 9 of the 2019 World Series of Poker. Yuval Bronstein from Israel won $96,000 yesterday after he won the 1500 no limit deuce to 7 low ball draw which actually had the most players for this event that the World Series of Poker has ever seen. The $5,000 no limit Hold'em event finished yesterday with Daniel Strelitz coming back from being one of the shortest stacks at the beginning of the day to winning his first bracelet and $442,000 to go along with it. I managed to catch Daniel for an interview after his win which you can check out here. Other side. Daniel defeated Shannon Shaw heads up who had started the final table with over 50% of the chips in play. Daniel told me that his close friends are now forcing him to drive them all to the exclusive winner's bracelet only event that is happening next month. Hashtag sick life. The semi-finals have been set in the $10,000 no limit heads up event which will finish tomorrow as the remaining players are taking a full day off today. Ben Yu takes on Keith Lair, whilst Cord Garcia is up against Sean Schwingruber. The winner of each match will fight it out on the main stage for $186,000 and the WSOP bracelet. The Twitter world has had a lot of bad press recently, so it was nice to see Brian Rass tweeting, As I approached my heads-up match three minutes late running, I arrived to see Kristen Bicknell patiently waiting for me, not blinding me off. Her excellent sportsmanship was rewarded with a prompt victory. Good luck. I honestly can't say I would have done the same thing if I knew I was heads up against Brian Rast. So good on you, Kristen. Can you believe it is finally time to crown a winner in the Big 50? Ten days of poker have been played in this event to get through the 28,371 players that entered. We are now down to just seven that are returning today. Each player has played five of those ten days, so it has been a gruelling grind. But with $1.1 million at the end of the line, I'm sure it'll all be worth it. The average stack coming in today is around 33 big blinds, but play could still be a little slow due to the pretty insane pay jumps for a $500 tournament. The $1,500 six max event will finish today, with 21 players returning to take their seats. None of the remaining players have a bracelet to their name, so there will be a lot of players trying to win their first. The winner of this event will take home a whopping $407,000. Romain Noosman comes in today with a chip lead after he had a huge pot sent his way late yesterday when his aces held up against Adrian Mateus' jacks who ultimately fell in 51st place. The $1,500 horse event will find a winner today as there are only 28 players coming back. First place will take home just over $200,000 by the end of the day. There are plenty of bracelet winners still in contention, including Andre Akari, who starts the day 18th in chips, and two-time bracelet winner Tony Ma, who will also have a bit of work to do, as he will be returning 22nd in chips. The $1,500 millionaire maker is kicking off today. One lucky player will find themselves winning a pretty sweet guaranteed $1 million at the end of this long six-day event. Day 1A kicks off today, with Day 1B starting tomorrow. Both flights will combine for Day 2 on Sunday, where they will play over the next three days down to a winner. Last year's field attracted over 7,000 players, with every final tableist earning over six figures. With people still in town from the Big 50 event, we expect this one to be another huge field. The $10,000 Omaha High Low 8 or Better Championship sees 90 return from the 173 players that entered. And in the $1,500 shootout, 100 players won their individual tables yesterday to progress as 817 people were knocked out. That finally rounds us off for Day 9 of the World Series of Poker. I'm Oliver Biles for PokerNews.com.